Sat means eternal uh, existence. Chit means transcendental knowledge, Gyan. And Ananda means this blissfulness, this uh, Ananda. So, Shmati Radhika is the presiding deity of this essential fact, uh, Ananda. And also, what, what this does, what, what this uh, Shakti does, is called also Icha Shakti, which means the, the desire potency of Krishna. So, whenever Krishna he, he wants to make a Lila, Shmati Radhika is the manifestation of this Lila. She's the one who can fulfill all Krishna's desires. And then you might ask, so if Shumati Radhika can satisfy Krishna fully, why there is so, so many uh, other gopis or so many other incarnations, why this happened? So Krishna himself is saying that uh, without many consorts, Rasa cannot manifest. So this, this transcendental mellows cannot fully develop without many consorts. So what Shumati Radhika she does, she, she herself she manifests in this, all the gopis. <clears throat> also, these three aspects, called Sat, Chit, and Ananda, it's also manifesting in different platforms, which is Sat, means uh, Sandini, which is the platform. The presiding deity of this, uh, this 